The next award category is International Health for Outstanding International Success in Health and Wellbeing. On behalf of award sponsor, Australian Trade and Investment Commission, this award will be presented by Philippa King, Deputy Chief Executive Officer, Policy and Programs at Austrade. While Philippa comes to the stage, let's meet the finalists. The Federal Government has a number of initiatives supporting the health sector, including the $20 billion Medical Research Future Fund, the largest endowment fund of its kind in the world, and the National Reconstruction Fund, mentioned by the ministers earlier this evening, which has earmarked $1.5 billion for medical manufacturing and generous research and development tax rebates, which nurture innovation in the healthcare sector. Australia's world-class healthcare system, and it is absolutely world-class, I think we all recognise that, and its regulat our regulatory and policy settings have supported the development of a vibrant, innovative healthcare ecosystem. Exports from the ecosystem encompass a variety of subsectors, such as health services, biotechnology, medical devices, digital health and complementary medicines. In 2023, this sector is expected to generate over $12 billion in manufacturing exports. Austrade continues to actively support Australian health companies export further and faster and take extraordinary technologies global. And we're thrilled to be involved in all of those efforts. So the winner for the International Health Award is SDI Limited. Thank you very much. Thanks to Austrade. And uh, thank you to all the sponsors for, the, for this wonderful award. We were not expecting this, but this is really testament to the significant work that our team's doing in order to further uh, better dentistry around the world. Uh, just to start you off with a key fact, the World Health Organization actually uh, estimates that oral health disease is the number one form of illness around the world, affecting about three billion people. So that's almost half the, the population of the world. Now, it's, it's, it's really, uh, I guess it blesses the cockles of our hearts to know that our Australian res research and development team do, a, do significant work, create patents and new technologies that we can then uh, uh, insert into our products and sell to over 100 countries worldwide. And we export, to, uh, we export about 90% of our business globally. We've been around for 51 years and we plan to be around for at least another 50. So thank you very much. <laughs> wow. 90 countries around the world. Uh, I want to focus on one of them. A bit of trivia. Australia has 16,000 dentists. Brazil has 360,000 dentists. Yes. No wonder Brazilians have good teeth. Um, yes. How big an impact is breaking into a market like Brazil? I, I just, those figures blew me away. Funnily enough, Koshi, I'd love to say that. Funnily right. enough, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, like, I, was, I like your teeth too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. I, don't know. Uh, I was just speaking to Brazil uh, this morning, actually, oh, right, yeah. uh, overnight, and uh, uh, yeah, they are an amazing, amazing country. Uh, they push us to new heights because of the competitiveness of dentists in that country. They want better products so they can distinguish between other dentists and say, my restorations are better or my tooth whitening is better, and that's why. Is it a cultural but, thing that they have 360,000 dentists? It's a competition thing. There's, people are fighting to get all, all, the, uh, all the customers, so they want the best products. Wow. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Congratulations. Well done. <laughs>